Tell us something about love. But look, you will simply have to forgive me if it's not the best tale you've possibly ever had. Ruled all the Mongolian was brave and wise beyond equal. His name was Kambuskan. He had two sons, the fighting arms of the empire. But his jewel was his daughter, Princess Kanasi. Her beauty I haven't seen in the entire world. Still, it was the Kambuskan's birthday and everyone was gathered for the feast. But then, nowhere. Huh, huh. The Emperor of all India and Arabi, my lord and protector, greets you on this day and gives to you a stallion of brass that in the space of single natural day will transport you anywhere on the globe. Turn this pin and it will vanish out of sight also for Lady Canacy, the ring's power wearing it. Is it a bird flying the heavens whose language you will understand? A sword has the power to clip through any armor, and no man blinded by it will ever see the wound heal until. Ah! Magnificent! Wine! Spices! You take! The referee continued all night, well being with the world of And the strange comes in night. He was chosen to dance with Princess Kanesi. A chief bought him a dew. Long before the night's end, a sensible woman lent, who said the morning was still thick on the ground. When she woke, her handmaidens to join her on the wall. Of course, a woman's crying resounded through the trees. But where was she? And then Kanesi understood in her tongue. She now wore the ring with the power, a bird's language. As an urban falcon, and soon, she will hear a sad story. A sad story. There was a grey feather hawk. He flew the same skies as me. I gave him my love. He swore his heart was mine. Our love was true. Except he was a deceiver. A two-faced. A red kestrel crossed his path and in an instant, he was in love with her. I was clean forgotten. Now that kestrel possesses my lover, I am without hope. While Kanasi carried the falcon back to her rooms, the others were only just waking up. As if they have been too busy thinking how to learn how to ride the brass horse. So when... Oh, hey! Help me! Help me someone! Now I understand. This was always your intention. I would have obstructed him, but he only asked. I will go in search of him. And leave the kingdom without both its generals? I have no choice. Then you must take this. They will protect you. Prince Algusif traveled twice, 10,000 miles before he learned to control the land. Somewhere over the Indian Ocean, he made landfall in an island palace. He was overcome with the beauty of this woman. She could only be a pretty woman. I mean no harm. Please, you're safe. And who are you? I'm Prince Algusif, son of Kambus, Kanov. Theodora. Bring him here. I shall return for you, Theodora. The Crimson Knight brought the audience with a great car. I beg to ask for the hand of her daughter in marriage. I believe she also. Maybe once. Now I know I will never find a man worthy of trust. First, you take my sons from me. Render our city defenseless. Now you attempt to steal my daughter? Never! She loved him, but the falcon's story had hardened her heart against all men. Prince Kambalo spent many months searching for his brother across all the lands of the east. My brother, no trace of him, the son of Kambuskan. Then a mysterious horsewoman crossed his path, and in an instant he was in love with her. He forgot the quest for his brother. The barbarian threat massing to attack his city. Father, we have no choice. I will fight the Lord! I can save the city. Crown me king and I can call on all the armies of India and Arabi. Pick the invincible sword. Take my kingdom. 
any man who attack this city, my city, with the anger of all Arabia. In a city cold with spies, the Prince of Night could not even tell Karnasi the truth. He was only posing as its new ruler to force the enemy into retreat. How can I prove to you that my love is real? Do not hope. Kambalu was entranced by love of the skinny, but she was a sorceress in snaring any man who crossed her path. She did not love you. She flattered us all this way. Escape while you can. Thanks to the ring, he had the warning. The trance was breaking. Theodora's father had wasted no time arranging for her to marry the king of China. To delay the marriage, Theodora feigned madness. The sultan summoned any of all the physicians. Aggressive. Quiet yourself. Quiet. But you have calmed her. Keep well back. Cure is incomplete. Of course, but... No! Come to me now! Come! Both brothers raced home. Kambalo guided by the hawk. <laughs> but they found the Crimson Knight's flag now over the city. They demanded to fight to redeem their honor. Oh, they had forgotten the invincible sword. The brothers were near death. Until... I seized this kingdom only to protect it. My subterfuge needed to be total. Now it is yours again. Kanasi now knew he was truly worthy of her love. Kambus concluded that there should be a bigger and better feast. Surprised to say that there were three weddings. All the rest of the were Kanasi the Crimson Knight, who took the name of Kambalo in honor of his new runner.